Greetings. Hi. By now, I'm sure you would have purchased your Umi pen and wondering how do I use it. So, I'm here to show you guys how great your Umi vape pen is. The first thing you're going to do is when you get your pen, you're going to notice that it's got this silver tip on it. Okay? So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unscrew the battery from the wax atomizer and you're going to want to pick up your charger, screw the battery in, and put it on, on a charger on your laptop, in a charger in your car. Um, these are great because I could basically just charge it everywhere I charge my phone. That's why I like it. Um, it usually takes about an hour to charge, and you'll notice that the little blue LED light is going to turn from blue to green. So that's how you know your UMI charger is charged up. And also, the charger has an LED light on it as well. So if you're ever wondering if your UMI is getting charged from the wall, you'll notice it because of the LED light. So once your UMI vape pen has been charged, the first thing that you want to do is, uh, if you're going to be using e-liquids, you want to take the e-liquid atomizer, it's the one that has the glass on the side, and you're going to want to unscrew, you're going to want to unscrew the bottom metal piece, which is actually a cap, put that to the side, and then you're just going to want You're just going to put the e-liquid on the side on the side of the tube. Being careful not to get the e-liquid inside the center tube. And I like to fill mine up maybe a quarter or halfway because this e-liquid chamber will go a long way. And I like to switch flavors a lot. So, so once I've been put on my cap back on the vape, on the e-liquid, all I have to do is screw on the battery and then if I want to get a draw I have to make sure to hold the, the button down. Mmm, mango. So nice. So that's the e-liquid atomizer. Now if you want to use the dry herbs atomizer, for those people that like to have tobacco blends or herbal blends, basically what you do is you just attach the atomizer to the battery and then you're going to unscrew the half of the atomizer. You're going to see that there's a spring. Mine's a little gunky. But there's a spring and then there's a white chamber with a coil on the bottom. So with this atomizer what you want, what you want to do is you want to put your herbal blend in the chamber and usually it's good to have it really ground up so that the heat of the coils can go through the material and then all you do is just add, just put the cap over, screw it on, and as long as you're pressing the button, you're activating the coils. So you just press the button and just wait for the coils to heat up the material. And there you go. It's gonna take a it's gonna take a minute. Okay, so moving on, that's the dry herbs. That's the dry herbs atomizer. And then finally, the last one is the wax atomizer. Now, this wax atomizer is awesome because it could be used for all kinds of wax or dabbing materials. And I love it because on a windy day, you don't have to worry about fire. <laughs> All you basically do is you have like this little spoon and you can just get a piece of wax or a piece of dab 
and just simply put it right here on the coil and then you just put the headpiece right back on and just press the button and go. So basically that's how you use the Umi vaporizer pen. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I know I have and all the friends that have bought my Umi pen have really loved it just because it's just so easy, simple. It doesn't take a lot to like vape in any way you want and you can just put it in your and you can just put it in your pocketbook. So thanks for everything guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye.